Inotropic agents have also been approved for the use uh, in a treatment of heart failure in dogs in Europe. Um, the first one I'll discuss is Pimobendin. Uh, this drug has been approved at 0.25 milligrams per kilogram twice daily. And it's been studied uh, in both Doberman pinchers and Cocker Spaniels in a study by uh, Virginia Luis Fuentes published in 2002. This was a double-blind, placebo-controlled, albeit small study. Uh, both breeds showed improved New York Heart Association scores, meaning they showed clinical improvement, quality of life improvement, but it also showed improvement in survival of the Dobermans. And this was quite a dramatic improvement. The uh, median survival for those dogs uh, receiving pimobendin was 329 days versus 50 days in those dogs receiving placebo. So a dramatic uh, benefit to those dogs, in this case Doberman pinchers with dilated cardiomyopathy. A second study looking at Doberman pinchers uh, published by Michael Grady in 2008 and here you see the Kaplan-Meier survival curve and you see the dogs that received pimobendin did much better than those that received placebo plus standard therapy. Um, and what you see is the median survival uh, for those dogs is 130 days if they received pimobendin and only 14 days if they did not. So I think the veterinary cardiology world is very comfortable that inodilators such as pimobendin, uh, which as we've previously discussed, uh, cause a positive inotropic effect but also vasodilatory effects which reduce myocardial work and thereby myocardial oxygen needs. Digoxin, uh, as we've already said, uh, is a purified form of foxglove. Uh, there's never been a study to show proof of efficacy in the dog. Uh, this works at increasing intracellular calcium concentrations, uh, thereby uh, giving us the potential for arrhythmogenesis. It has a narrow therapeutic window, meaning that once you get into the therapeutic range, uh, you're not too far away from toxic effects. In recent years, we've learned that lower blood levels of digoxin give us some of the neurohumoral benefits, uh, such as uh, reparation of baroreceptor function, um, and so we shoot for somewhat lower blood levels of digoxin than we used to, uh, and we have reduced our chances of intoxication. Uh, just as in the dog with mitral insufficiency, this drug would probably only be used in dilated cardiomyopathy in those dogs that had atrial fibrillation or some other tachyarrhythmia. Um, would not likely be used in dogs that had significant ventricular arrhythmias, however. Um, digoxin is a relatively weak inotrope, certainly compared to pimobendan, uh, it is weak. Uh, the other time in which we might use digoxin in a dog with dilated cardiomyopathy would be in a dog uh, whose owners simply can't afford uh, the newer drugs such as people bend in.